Y'all, today was awesome. I'm talking about some of the biggest trout I've ever caught. Actually, one of the biggest trout I've ever caught, PB, and the most redfish I think we've ever caught in one day in one spot. It was absolutely incredible, cast for cast. About to show you guys the footage, breakdown of everything that went on. Are y'all ready for this? It was epic. Here we go, let's roll some footage. All right, y'all, a little change of scenery. Fishing a bridge. I'm gonna be using some Z-Man. These are the diesel, diesel minnows, Creole croaker, trout eye jig head. Got a lot of structure right here. Yeah, so we got tons of structure, this big old bridge. Hey, do you need a hook? Look, there's one, uh, is that a, ooh, that's a good one. Oh yeah, you guys, I'm hooked up. <laughs> Over there, this is dinner. Oh yeah, this is a good one, you guys. Really good one. We might've just got into a school of them. That's a puppy drum, check that out. Well, that's cool. All right, y'all, check that out. That's gotta be the most spots I've ever seen on a puppy drum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven spots. Check that out. Here, kiss my puppy drum. Kiss. I'll kiss you. Okay, kiss him. Glass. <laughs> Come on. That's good, thank you. That's a beautiful looking puppy drum though, you guys. All right, there he goes. He gone. All these people There's are... a fish, there we go. That's a good one. <laughs> somebody's getting mad because somebody's catching all the fishies. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a puppy drum right there, people. Check that out. That's a fun size red right there. Fish on. Ooh, that one feels like a really big fish. All right, y'all, we are into a school of red. Woo. Oh, Jeb, get the net! Get the net! Get the net! Shh. Hurry! Oh, what? Jeb, get the net! Get the net! Oh! Keep his head under water. Hurry! Keep his head under the water. There it is. I have no words. I'm gonna let the fish do the talking for me this time. Unreal. Wow. Unreal. Oh my gosh, he smoked it. All right. Yeah? What you got? All right, y'all. Huh? I'm still in her glory. Christy just caught her biggest trout, and this is probably the biggest trout that's ever been boated on my boat. 25 inches. Woo! I am, I feel like I'm speechless right now, pulling this massive gator trout out y'all i feel i feel proud of myself i have worked really hard this season to find this trout right here you guys Whew. that was a rush i did not realize how big he was until he got to the boat and i was like jeff get the net I was like, oh my gosh this thing is freaking gator look at his head it's big hold him like just hold him just like that just like that all right let's so just so you guys know, like, this is my hand, <laughs> and it's about the size of his head. I thought that this was a striper, and that's how big it was. I was like, oh, it's gotta be a striper. I was like, no, that's a trout. Whew. Look how beautiful this fish is. I cannot get enough of it. That's fat. Look at the belly on it. I know, it's girthy. We're gonna see his belly. Dang. <laughs> That is a fat trout, people. Yes, he is. Christy is not even holding this fish out at all. We can barely even fit him in the frame. <laughs> all right, you guys, and all that fun and excitement, Christy just caught her personal best trout. That also is the biggest trout ever landed on this boat, on the Dolphin Dancer. How does that feel? <sighs> yeah, that feels so rewarding just to catch a gator trout. I finally catch a 25-inch trout feels 
amazing. I mean, like, it just feels so good. So we were going to cook him up, but honestly, I want to let this guy go. He deserves to have a long and happy life since he's already 25 inches. Somebody else deserves to catch this trout in a couple years when he gets even bigger. So we just want to encourage y'all, when you catch a really, really, really big fish, a big cobia, a big trout, whatever, the big fish don't always taste the best. And those are the fish that are spawning, that are creating more fish for us to catch. So we would love to take this fish home. We'd love to show it off to our friends. Love to take it into the tackle shop, do all the paperwork and all that other stuff. But we're gonna let this fish go because we're not into all that. We're just all about out here catching fish, showing y'all how we catch these fish. So what we're doing right now is we are reviving this fish right now in the net. And this is a very, very resilient fish. We've only had him out for like two minutes taking pictures. But we really <laughs> wanna make sure that this guy just has a long and happy life so we're just reviving him right now in the net that's right that's awesome uh, that you caught the 25 inch fish but that's more awesome that you're letting him go i know yes fish conservation people this is how we have healthy fisheries y'all sometimes it's good to bring your fish home but like jeff said other times these really really big fish it's sometimes it's better to let them go keep reproducing keep spawning and producing more fish for us to catch all right time to revive our fish and let them go Swim another day. Let him go, let him grow. All right. And she's off. Woo! Let him go, let him grow. That's what I like to say. Actually, our buddy Miguel says that. But it's true. You guys let your fish go and they will continue to grow and populate this beautiful fishery. So, all right. There we go. You guys just saw it. My PB trout. I'm on cloud nine. And That was epic. I can't wait to see the footage of how much I was freaking out. We didn't get it on camera. That was insane, babe. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I'm on again! I am on again! Oh! <laughs> this has got to be another big one, babe! Get the net! Get the net! Please get something good. This has got to be a big trout. Holy moly. All right, this is this is my day. This is the day I've been waiting for. All this time. It's a puppy drum. All right. Oh, I've got the hot hand today. All right, you guys, this creek mouth is definitely producing just like I thought it would. Christy caught her PB trout and she caught this 19 inch redfish. Look at this beautiful redfish. This is going on the stringer and going home. There's one. There's a fish. That's a good one. Dang. These fish are loaded right here. That's a big one. Wow. Feels like a nice red. If it's a trout, it's going to be a giant. I think it's a red the way it's kind of thumping like that. It is a red. Man, this spot's loaded. All right, another red fish. They're just loaded right in there. What is it about this little spot? Jeez, every cast. Creek mouth. Woo, Creek Mouth is producing for us, people. All right, we've got a big old flat we are working next to a big deep drop off that these massive cargo ships are coming through like 50 feet deep out there. So these fish are all just kind of pushing up right in here, right on this flat. Woo. Nice. This spot is holding a lot of good fish. Wow. Nice. All right. See you, buddy.
Little keeper keeper. Little keeper, keeper. Hit it on the drop. Heck yeah. That is a puppy drum. Dang, these drum, these reds are just killing it. You guys, when you get to winter time, this is some of the most fun fishing because these reds will just school up by the hundreds. There's one. Hey. You guys, we are in a school of these reds. Dang, these fish are just thumping. That's another nice red fish right there. Whew. All right, y'all. Nice puppy drum. All right, y'all. This is why late fall Winter fishing is the bomb. These redfish are just schooled up right now. These redfish, they school up like this a lot for protection from dolphins and everything. You'll find them at like, you know, these like low tide main channels right around structure, right out front of Creek Mouse and everything. There he is, right? Oh, had a bite. So they'll school up around docks, bridges. There's one. Ooh, that's a good one. And it's almost like cast for cast. Dang, this is a good one. Yeah. The redfish thump never gets old. The Z-Man diesel minnow is killing it today, people. These slot reds are such a blast, y'all. All right. All right, all I have to say at the end of today is what an insane afternoon of getting on some redfish and my PB trout. Woo, I am still so hyped up. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. And not to mention, we caught like the most redfish that we've ever caught in one spot. It so. was seriously crazy. Every single cast we were getting. Definitely not expected. Yeah, not expected at all. Way to go, babe. Finding us that little nook of a spot. That was not a nook. That's what we call a honey hole. Honey hole. All right. Well, we like honey holes, especially when they put out some 25 inch trout. That's right, y'all. <laughs> Thanks for watching. You guys, it's winter time but who the heck cares? Cause it's some of the best fishing ever. That's right. Get up off your butt, go catch yourself. A big old gator trout. All y'all in Texas, super jealous of y'all cause y'all are catching big old trout right now. All the Gulf Coast and all you guys. So, and if you're even in Virginia, we're still catching big trout as y'all see in this vid. So wherever y'all at, get up off your butt, <laughs> go catch yourself some fish. All right. Peace out people. Peace out.